Hey everybody, Mark Spec the Comics, and I'm back. This time with a contest win entry. And you can see here, I got a fat stack of books that I won, uh, I want to say a few months ago, from um, Century Stir Fry. Uh, it was a contest. He ended up having, I think it was a monthly contest, and I ended up winning the second or third, uh, you know, month, whatever it was. I forget, it was, this was, this was a while ago. Um, as you can see, I'm here in the workbench this, uh, this morning. Wanted to change it up, you know, get a little different perspective. So if, uh, you want to see the big stack of books that I won, stick around. All right, so uh, welcome back, welcome back. As you can see, you got a big stack of books. You know, this contest was a while ago, so uh, I almost forgot what, you know, the books were in there. But, uh, so this is gonna be kind of like a big surprise for me. So before we get into it, if you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel We're getting a little closer I got a new uh, a few new subscribers to the channel so I want to say uh, thanks for subscribing as we get a little closer to the 450 mark I'm gonna have that Rosa 500 contest and uh, I'm sure some of these books will go in there as well uh, it's gonna be epic so uh, make sure you share this content out there so I want to give back to the community because the community has been very great to me all right so let's get into it first book this one is actually not uh, bagged or boarded this is a uh, little Marvel. This is US One, issue number nine. I'm gonna zoom in real quick. Adjust the camera. All right, so we get a good angle. Bear with me. All right, so all right, so first book, like I said, I had to adjust the camera angle real quick. It was uh, not doing it justice. So um, US one issue number nine, never heard of this book, but um, we'll see what happens. Um, all right, so moving on. What do we got next? All new X-Men number one. There we go, a little Brian Michael Bendis. Um, this looks like something more recent. Avengers Empire Fantastic Four, issue number one. This is some Al Ewing and Dan Slott action here. Nice cover. Uh, oh, this is actually a fun series. I've, uh, I've read the uh, first, I think, four or five issues in this run. This is uh, Conan Serpent War, issue number one. Oh, we got the second one. Number two. Issue number three. Nice little cover there with uh, Moon Knight. And issue number four. Actually, that's pretty cool. This was a fun little story if you haven't read it, read it already. All right, moving on. All right, we've got a ton of books in here, and it looks like it's going to be uh, wide ranging from uh, DC and Marvel, from what it looks like, quickly looking at it. All right, here we go. And uh, like I said, this is just going to be one take. I'm not going to do no first appearances. I have no clue. So if I know these books offhand, if there's any first appearances, I'll point them out. Otherwise, I'll just keep on moving. Looks like uh, DC, some Secret Origin starring Suicide Squad, issue number 14. This looks like some uh, either bronze or, or uh, copper. Oh, here we go. This is a reprint. This is, uh, what do you call it, the Masterpiece. The fantasy masterpieces, the Silver Surface is obviously the classic 
uh, number four issue by John Romita. Oh, here we go. X-Men issue number one. Hello, Jim Lee. I believe this was the uh, most printed comic of all time, if I'm not mistaken. I think I just recently got X-Men number one, which is hilarious. I've never had that book, so this is my second copy, which is pretty sweet. Here's a nice little uh, facsimile of X-Men number one. Nice book. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, this is recent as well. This is The Last God, Chapter 2, DC Black Label. There was some pretty good um, artwork in there by uh, Ricardo Federici. Can't go wrong with this book. I think this is my second or third copy. This is another Jim Lee. This is Wildcats issue number one. Ton of first appearances in there. And uh, I think I have a few of these as well, too. This is the... Uh, Another one of the most uh, printed comics in the 90s. This is uh, X-Force issue number one. Still polybagged. And, uh, oh, snap. There's actually uh, two trading cards in there, which is pretty cool. I think there's usually just one in there, so that's nice. Looks like uh, one's like a promo, and then one's like the team, which is pretty nice. Some Rob Liefeld auction right here. Major X, issue number one. The second printing. Oh, hey now. <laughs> uh, actually, this is my first copy of this book right here. Web of Spider-Man, issue number 100. This is the, uh, I believe, the first appearance of Spider-Man's uh, Spidey armor. Nice little metallic cover. Nice Greg Land cover here. Symbiote Spider-Man, issue number one. And you got Mysterio there in the background. Ooh, this is, I've seen, I remember seeing this book before, but I just uh, don't remember who did the cover. This is another recent book. This is White Fox, issue number one. Nice free comic book day. I never got this when it came out. This is uh, Spawn number one, free comic book day edition. Uh, there we go, a little Punisher. Punisher number seven. All right. Moving on to some indies. Mary Shelley, Monster Hunter. Actually, I do read a lot of indies, and I haven't read this one, so I'm interested to read that one. So uh, thanks for that book. A little True Believers. Uh, the Avengers, I am not sure which issue that is, so maybe you guys can help me out with that. Um, let's see. Avengers Disassembled. Number 500. Nice. Another Brian Michael Bendis and uh, oh, this is David Finch. David Finch cover art. Oh, this is cool. I actually, <laughs> I like getting these books. Uh, so thanks for this. is my second copy. I like getting these um, Boom Studios uh, Christmas Claw books. I believe this is in the uh, Crying Stone. I forget if this is the one that's just all... Um, Images inside, no words. I forget if it's that one or if it's the calendar. I forget which one. But that's pretty cool. This is my second copy of this one. Another gorgeous uh, Ricardo, I believe, Frederici cover. And that's uh, Batman Who Laughs issue number one. And then we got a dollar comic, a reprint of Batman Adventures number 12. Very nice, very nice. I'll move these aside. All right. So how we doing? How we doing? Oh, sweet. All right. Look, got, look, we got some more older books. I'll have to bag and board some of these as well. But this is uh, Captain America, issue number 304. I said a lot of these I don't have. This is Fantastic Four. This may be the second run. This is issue number 10. That's a Jim Lee cover. Superman, issue number 37. The Sledgehammered. Oh, Sledge. <laughs> uh, there you go. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, this is some uh, Keith Giffen right here. This is Eclipso, the Beast of Vengeance, issue number two. All right, what else we got here? Oh, this is issue number one. 
<laughs> the cover is attached. <laughs> and the back cover is detached too. Oh, that's funny. Awesome. Uh, all right, what are we into next? Uh, oh, there you go. A little solo issue of uh, Nomad, issue number one. All right, let's see. Oh, this is interesting. Austin Powers. Looks like the uh, the spy who shagged me. <laughs> Read this freaking book. <laughs> nice. What do we got next? Eric, Son of Thunder, Death in Byzantium. Issue number 17. Next up, G.I. Joe Special Missions. First issue, number one. Then we got The Punisher, 2099, issue number three. Oh, here we go, we got some Marvel Age. Marvel Age, issue number 43. That's interesting. Uh, looks like this one is, I've never heard of this one. It says, Mostly Wanted. This is from Wildstorm Publishing, issue number one. So you got a nice little assortment going on here. And it looks like we're getting to some more uh, 90s, 90s stuff here. Image, Wildcats, issue number 23. That's actually a really cool cover. Images of Shadowhawk, issue number two. I'm gonna say a lot of these I've never heard of. There you go, something I'm more familiar with. Jonah Hex, issue number 64. Superheroes from the Mind of Clive Barker, Hyperkind, issue number three. Look at that. All right, getting down towards the last stack of books. Images of Shadowhawk, issue number three. It's a pretty uh, good use of, you know, just good use of space there. Very simple colors and uh, limited artwork there. But uh, let's see, Images of Shadowhawk, issue number one. It's a little graphic there. All right, looks like we got DV8, issue number 30. Another book I'm not familiar with. Looks like we got some Daredevil. Here you go, Daredevil, issue number 205. Battlestar Galactica, issue number three. Wetworks, issue number five, there you go. Issue number four, <laughs> issue number 12. There you go, the Inf Man, Ultimate Ninja, issue number three. That's a nice cover right there. I like that one. Can't go wrong with a guy with two Two katanas and an AK-47 <laughs> with the uh, hammer and sickle in the background. That's pretty cool. I like that a lot. Uh, the Punisher War Zone, issue number 14. And we got the Invincible Iron Man, number one. And the last book, The Punisher, issue number 63. There you go. So that's all the books, a nice stack of books. I want to thank uh, Centauri Stir Fry for all these nice books, you know, and for the giveaway. And um, like I said, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Getting a little closer to the 450 mark. And when I do, we're going to have that Road to 500 contest. I'm real excited to, you know, do this contest. I'll actually throw some of these, some of these books in there as well. But uh, like I said, I want to thank uh, Centurion Stir Fry, and uh, actually stick around. I have a video coming up I'm recording soon that's going to um, show some of my uh, recent finds at a flea market. I got some pretty cool books as well. So uh, until next time, this is Mark Spectre Comics saying out.